Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. We're over on the dark side today. Dark side not meaning the light and dark, but dark as in greasy side. You know, the real dirty dark side. Well anyway, I thought it was very ironic that this morning on my vlog, so in other words, Monday morning, October 9th vlog, Late in the vlog, we started discussing the vermin on the farm, and we were talking about how the rats and mice get in and chew up all your wires and things on your cars. And no sooner than we finished that vlog, than my son hit me up with, could you fix this? The rats got in here and tore this up. So we're looking at the car and I'll show you what damage they did. This is Emery's car. First I'll just show you that right here you can see they've put rat bait right here for the rats to eat and you can see it's been chewed and they wire it down so that the rats can't carry it off. They will carry it away if you don't wire it down. And if they carry it away they just take it and hide it someplace like in their mitten and then you never see it again. Here's the wires that were destroyed, but right here they chewed this wire completely off. They've chewed, they've chewed this wire, I can tell. This, this wire was chewed completely off. This wire's been chewed. You can see the connector's missing there. This one may have been chewed, I don't know. We will take all this apart and see what damage has been done to the wiring and try to fix it up. Well, before I can start working on this, I've got to clean it up. I don't like to work on stuff that's really nasty, and there's just rat poop all over the place and just droppings everywhere. So I'm going to vacuum it out. Well, that's about as good as I can do. Now we've got all of this stuff taped up, and it's chewed all the pieces. The wires are just really jagged. I, in fact, you touch it with your finger and the, the little prickly wires are sticking you all over the place down in here. I'm going to have to cut all that apart. I'm just trying to see how far I have to go because I can see this is damaged along here. I don't see damage anywhere else, but I'm looking down through just to see if there's more damage down inside anywhere. And I don't really see any other damage at the moment. So we might have got lucky. It may just be confined to this one area right here. This is taped down. And I'm breaking the tape basically. I just want to clean all that out and get it where all of the uh, wire can be exposed. Where I can see what's bad. Yeah, I know you're not going to be able to see much of this, but i got to figure out a way to get this loose. So what I'm trying to do is get all this wire loose where I can get to it. And right now, that's not that easy to do. Well, that's a big outfit there. This whole thing is messed up. This wire looks like it's okay, so I don't think I have to go to that one. really don't know how to get this tape off here. It's wrapped so tight. It's hard to tell where the tape starts and ends because there's so much other stuff here. There's this wrapping around here besides the tape. If I can get find an end, that would help. Well, there's not much point in leaving the camera roll while I'm really not doing anything except fumbling around. Once I get this tape off of here and get this unwrapped, I'll show you the next step. Well, my friends, I'm still unwrapping tape. Uh, whoever wrapped this with tape had a PhD in tape, I can tell you that. I have uh, seen a lot of tape jobs, but this one's the uh, best tape wrapping job I ever saw. And just next to impossible to get off. Of course, I'm trying to do it without creating a lot of extra damage, you understand. I don't know what you call this, this wire mold stuff that goes around the wire. It's pulled so tight down in there, you can't tell where it starts, where it stops. And 
I'll try to do a good job taping it back up, but I can sincerely doubt I could uh, do this good a job. But we're getting close. I'm, I'm almost got it all off now, and I have to get it off so I can get this cover off because the wires are chewed off all the way back into the cover. I think I can get this sleeve off here now, at least some of it off. You know, it's still very difficult to get to these wires. Not easy at all. It's just tied up so tight. Maybe I can undo this connector somehow. I don't know how these connectors work. That's the problem. And I don't want to break them because that would be a mess. I know this connector has to swing some direction here. I'm sure it does, but I can't figure out how. I can't tell if the camera is focusing or not. Can't tell much about anything, honestly. Oh, I think I just popped that connector loose. I hope that worked. Maybe that will let me take this apart. Yeah, I think it will. Man, nothing simple. There it is. Wow, that's a big connector. Okay, that helps a little bit. For the record, I did unplug the battery because I was afraid I might hit a short here, a dead short or something. There it is. Okay. All right, at least I'm getting it up here where I can get it to where I can work on it, I think. And then this connector here, it looks like it should come apart, but I don't know how. Yeah, they sure don't make stuff easy anymore. Every connector's got a different kind of clasp on it. You know, if they could at least be consistent, it would be one thing. But this is not consistent at all. It would sure be nice to get that apart where I could get that up there to work on it because it's, it's complicated as it is. Well, if I make progress, I'll show you some, but right now I don't have any. Well, I uh, finally got it apart. I know all the real mechanics will cringe, but I finally just broke this catch up and uh, then grabbed to hold it with two pliers and just kept wiggling it till it came apart. Seriously, I've never had one any tighter than that one. Man, that was tight. Well, at least I've got it to the point where I think I can get it out here and work on it now almost. I've still got one more connection to go here, and it just came loose, so that helps me a little bit more to just get it out here. But these wires, I'm see, I had to get it out here because these wires are cut all the way through here. These, this wire's chopped completely off. This one's okay, so this ain't going to be fun even now. Even after I get it out here, it's still going to be very difficult. The one that's chewed up is separated now from the rest of it. It's still not easy because it's still wrapped in more tape. And this goofy thing here is in the way. If I could get that off, figure out how that can't, comes off. And I'm, again, I'm sure it's some little stupid simple clip thing if you just knew how it worked. That's the problem. You can't figure out how they work. It would be so easy if it would just be easy. But every single clip is different, made different. That's the price you get for living in a free country. Even when I think I got it unlatched, I still don't know what to do with it. Don't know whether to push it forward or backward. I can't tell. That's the way it's made. You know, these things should just be obvious. Shouldn't be such a guessing game. Well, it popped off, but I don't know how. It didn't break, fortunately. Maybe I can look at it now and figure out how it was supposed to work. I don't know. 
Okay, well at least now I can get a little closer to seeing what I'm working on. Each step helps a little bit. Once again, whoever taped it sure knew what they were doing with the tape. They did an incredibly good job, I will say that. So good that it's next to impossible just to get the tape off. Yeah, one of the wires is chewed completely in two, maybe more. Wow, what a mess. Try to give you a close-up of that. Maybe you can see how these wires are so cut up. They're just, it's just a mess. So I'm going to take it wire by wire and figure it out and put them back together. One of the challenges I face on something like this is there's multicolor wires here and a lot of them are very similar colored from my perspective and I'm colorblind so the only way I can do this is by matching them up one at a time and these two are the only two that are cut completely in two so those two have to go together the rest of them are cut but they're still together so I'm going to start with these two because if I start somewhere else I'd have a problem and the problem with these two is that honestly they're not reaching each other so I'm I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just cut them, cut them off right here in the middle and bring these two together or put a double splice in there, which I hate to do a double splice. Well, single splice is bad enough. Golly, what a mess. I think if I cut them off, I still have enough room to make it work with this plug and all that. And the problem with cutting them off again is I have to get them labeled ahead of time or something because I might not be able to match them up. And there's actually three wires, maybe four wires, that aren't cut at all. So, yeah, there's four wires that aren't cut and uh, four wires that are. I guess I'm just going to leave them like they are. And I think I can just shorten this one up and splice it, and I'll, I'll just shorten the others as I have to. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I am going to strip these wires. And what I'm going to do, I think, is use these solder um, connectors here. These are solder seal wire connectors. I don't know, maybe that's a mistake, but I've used these a few times and they seem to work pretty well, but I haven't really done it on a car too much. So now I'm going to take the heat gun and heat this up. Looks like it worked. It melted the solder. I had both pieces in there jammed together and it melted the solder around them. I think I'll get me a little cool damp rag to wipe these, cool these off with so I can keep going. The autofocus just won't stay focused. It's so frustrating. So I just took this damp rag and, and, and cooled that one off. Now I'm going to cut the next one and make the splice on the next one. Solder flowed, it's looking pretty good. Cool it off with this cool towel. Okay, I think I've only got one more that has to be soldered, I think. I have to cut it in two first and then put it back together. Uh, I think I messed that one up. I did. I messed that one up. Always got to be one that's got to give you trouble. Right at the end. Always. It's always got to be right at the end, too. Every time. Try it again. This time I'm going to put some kind of a heat sink in here before I start because I'm heating up the other wires so hot I'm afraid I'm going to cause a problem. Alright, so I gotta find something to lay in there. Okay, maybe I've got her together now where I can do it. 
Ah, it's just burning my hands up. Can't get to this one for some reason. This one's a lot harder for some darn reason. I already messed that one up, so... Why does it always have to be the last one has to be the problem child every single time? Should have just used regular crimp on connectors. They would be easier actually in this case. There we go. That worked. Okay, that connector, I think we got it 100%. I think we're done with that. Now we've got one that's chewed off that goes down to these other little connectors. And uh, the part's even missing, so I've got a new piece for that. And so we'll get that out next. So this whole piece has been chewed off, and it's missing. So we're going to put this one on in its place, I hope. Hopefully they've got the right colors there and all that. But I'm going to have to untape it first. Here we go again. So I'll get it untaped and then we'll bring you back here and show you where we're at. The good news and the bad news, you know, this is red and black. I pretty much can tell that. I can't tell what these two colors are, but this one I think, I think this one's a light green and I kind of think this one's a brown. So that don't match red and black, unfortunately. But I know this is where they go. That connector fits on there, so it's right. I just don't know which one goes where. How am I going to know that? Or does it even matter? I guess I'll try to do some sort of research and find out because I don't know if it matters or not. I doubt it, but you never know. Well, I still don't know what, how to hook these up. I'm just using logic because I can't find anything on them on the internet. But I, somebody pointed out on the internet that the, one of these wires was bigger. Well, sure enough, the red one's bigger and the black one's smaller. But I go here and these two wires are exactly the same size. So there's no difference there. So there's no way I can tell there. So what I did was I looked at this one and the dark wire is going on the bottom. Over here on this other one, the dark wire is going on the bottom. So if I turn it this way, the red wire is on the bottom and here's the dark wire. So by logic, I'm gonna connect the red wire to the dark wire and call that good. That's the way I'm going to do it, because I don't know any other way to do it. I'm going to cut these off because they're really long. Ah, oh, wouldn't you know. This wire is too big to fit in this connector, so I have to go to the next size connector. I really didn't want to go to the next size bigger, but you got to do what you got to do, I guess. All right, I've got the sleeve on this one already. I'm gonna connect the red one to the dark one and I'm gonna wind them around because it's just not as tight a connection as it was before. Then I'll slide this up there, make the solder sit right over the connection there, heat it up and see what happens. That looks like that worked. Okay, now I'll get the next connector, slide it up on here. Looks like the solder flowed real well. The mouse chewed through the uh, tape here, but I don't see that it messed with the wire, so I think we're okay on that one. This one, I don't see any problem here. So I think we're done. No, maybe not. Yep, yeah, I think we are. I thought maybe there was another wire chewed down in that big thing, but no, I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good. So now I just gotta taper all back up as best I can. And I've got the Scotch brand electrical tape here. I know the 3M's probably better, but you know what? It'll probably be fine. Okay, let's start reversing things. We'll start plugging things back in. Plug these down in there first. Ugh. 
this is the one I broke the little connector on, so I'm just going to tape it shut, tape it still here. I don't know if that's good enough or not, but it's what I'm going to do. That's good enough for me. I hope it's good enough for the job. And then we've got to connect this thing back up. But maybe I don't want to do that until I get the uh, cover back over this stuff. I don't know. Nothing's ever simple. Oh my gosh, that's really hard to get that back on there. There's so many different T's and things coming into this. I think I got it good enough anyway. So now I'll try taping that back up. I'll never get it as good as it was originally. There's no way. It's not too bad. I didn't tape it up too bad compared to the way it was taped. It's not too bad at all, really. I'll try to get a little more tape down in this area, down here, where I didn't do so well. It could just be so simple if it would just be simple, but no, it won't be. It just didn't do that. It just didn't cooperate. All right, that's good enough for my job. Okay, now I gotta get Hopefully a wire tie or something in here. Get this back in here if it'll go. I think that went back together and it clipped back in. Well, that's not too bad for an amateur job. Now I'm going to get a couple of wire ties and tie this back to these little posts like it was. All I'm doing now is just wire tying this big wire bundle back to this little plastic T that's under it here. And that should hold that. I just need to cut it off. I guess that T is there to keep these wires from bouncing around while the engine's running. This one is not a T on here, under here. Now, here's another case where they could have just made them all exactly the same, but they didn't. You know, it could have just been simple. But no, they didn't do that. I would love to get a hold of engineers and people that design this stuff and just tell them how stupid they are when they do things like this because it's really stupid because it could be exactly like that one and it would be really simple but they had to do something different on this one but I'll make it work just it doesn't work the same but I'll make it work as far as I can tell that's back 100% like it was originally from the factory. Not very many people would be able to tell the difference. So, as hard as that was, I think it turned out really, really good. The proof is, will it start? So here we go. Let me clean off the mess. I'll have to connect the battery back, so I'll turn the camera back on once I get the battery hooked up. Well, I went ahead and opened the uh, shop door where you can see the work I did. I taped it all back up. Now I'll try to start it and see if it starts. Well, my friends, I'm not an auto mechanic, but I know quite a bit about wiring and things like that, so I was able to uh, fix this particular job. Now we just got to keep the rodents out from under the hood. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.